I recently wanted to make a game in Roblox Studio and I came across this cool AI website which lets you generate 3D models based off of text or images. Um, and because I'm not a 3D modeler or not a sculptor, I have no idea how to create 3D models. So I'll quickly show you how this works. I'll uh, go ahead into image to 3D here. I'll use the new beta model, uh, which they just released. And I want to make, let's say, I want to make this sword. I can drop the image in here, select PBR materials and quality to be high. Prompt, I can say stylized sword. And that's a generator that usually takes like a minute. So you can literally go from image to 3D model in less than a minute. And that's a generate, it's, it's super cool. And after like a minute, the model gets generated and as you can see, the model quality isn't, isn't bad at all. And you could definitely use this in a game. And let's go ahead and download it. And you can now simply go ahead into the Roblox studio. I've gone ahead and uh, imported it already. Um, you can do that by import 3D and simply select the file uh, you want to import. I also have a few other models, we can import them as well, just to kind of show you how it works. And in my case, I also generated a hammer. Simply select the file, keep the settings as is, import, and you're done. Um, and then the 3D model should show up in the viewer. And as you can see, the quality really, really uh, is pretty good. And you could use this for a game, animation, 3D printing, basically anything. It's, it's so thing crazy. And you can also use Texture AI to import your models and retexture them with improved quality. Uh, rig your characters using Mixamo, for example, I've imported a uh, stone golem I generated. Let me show you this one um, and rigged it using Mixamo. And you can also import this into um, Roblox Studio then. And uh, this tool is super cool. You can also use text, but I would recommend using the image eye or an image you already have to generate 3D models as it's just way, way better and you have more control over the quality. And uh, yeah, I hope this was helpful and um, you can use this tool in your workflow. Um, you can also generate game icons, by the way, that's super cool as well. Um, I've, you can do that by selecting a model, in my case, the pixel art model and use the pixel art style. And uh, then you can generate game icons, for example. And uh, yeah, that's it. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys soon.